sequences and series. When we say sequence, it is the ordered list of numbers. It can be generated from shapes, patterns, or rules. Each number in a sequence is called term. Let's have triangular numbers as an example. The terms in this sequence are 3, 6, 10, 15, and 21. This number represents the dots that are being used to formulate the triangle in this sequence. Another example is the square numbers. The terms in this sequence are 4, 9, 16, and 25. Last example will be the pentagonal numbers. The terms here are 1, 5, 12, 22, and 35. Each term is identified by its position in the ordered list. As we said a while ago, a sequence is an ordered list of numbers. Therefore, terms must also be positioned according to its order. These are represented by A sub 1, A sub 2, A sub 3, and so on and so forth until we reach A sub n. But what does these terms represent? A sub 1 represents the first number or the first term. A sub 2 represents the second number or the second term. A sub 3 represents the third number or the third term. A sub n represents the nth term or the general term. Let's have an example. We will use the triangular numbers wherein the terms are 3, 6, 10, 15, and 21. Let's identify first what is our A sub 1 or the first term. It is the number 3. A sub 2 will be 6. A sub 3 will be 10. A sub 4 will be 15. And then A sub 5 will be 21. When we talk about sequences, we must also know the definition of finite sequence. Finite sequence is a sequence having a finite number of terms, meaning to say they are limited or they have an end. In the opposite side, we also have the infinite sequence. It is the sequence that are having an infinite number of terms or they are also known as the never-ending sequence. 